good morning from a very, very windy Nook, Greenland. Many flights are canceled today, so I'm actually very pessimistic about the opportunity to leave town this afternoon. I think that my flight is going to be canceled. I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. You can see the white caps, just fierce waves. And this is a pretty sheltered bay, so it is pretty surprising. The wind gusts are actually upwards of 98 kilometers an hour, so I don't think a turboprop is landing in this. I really don't think I'm getting out of here today. I think I'm going to be stranded. Uh, it's actually going to continue through tomorrow and lighten up on Saturday, so I don't even think I'm going to get out until Saturday or Sunday, probably. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the weather does clear a little bit. There's a calm within the storm that the plane can land and at least get out of here but we'll see what happens, I suppose. All right, I've made it here to Nuke Airport. It is so windy. There's not a chance this flight is going today, but I've done my part to show up for it. And that's that. But it's like probably 100 kilometer an hour gusts out there. All right, so this is the Nook Airport. It's pretty small, actually. I thought it would be a lot larger. It looks like they do have a little cafe, but it's closed. You can see just how strong that wind is, crazy. Well, as predicted, the Kangaroo Sock flight is cancelled. So they put me up in a hotel for the night and gave me meal vouchers and taxi vouchers. So that was nice. That would never happen in Canada or the US, ever. Especially for weather, that's unheard of. In any case, really good customer service. So wasn't expecting that. All right, I got a taxi voucher. I'm gonna head to the Hotel Aurora, I guess they booked me at. It is a pretty comfortable hotel. I think it's three and a half stars. So honestly, uh, the fact that I'm delayed, it's slightly annoying because I really wanted to go see Sweden, but this gives me more time in Greenland and gives me a lot of time to really soak up Nuuk because I really feel like I didn't see that much of Nuuk, even though I was here for two days. I didn't spend that much time really exploring the city. So this gives me the opportunity to do it and do it for free. So all the meals are covered, hotels are covered. You can't go wrong. Home sweet home. It's got a slight odor to it though. I'm trying to pinpoint what it is. It smells kind of like Chinese food or something. Maybe the last guest was having a heyday with that. It also has a little loft. So I'm tempted to sleep up there tonight. I don't know if there'd be any benefit, but tempting. But yeah, pretty straightforward room. It is comfortable though. I don't know if it's worth 250 bucks, Canadian. But yeah, you get the idea. Free of charge. Thank you, Air Greenland. I'm gonna go use one of my food vouchers here at the Igu Cafe and Restaurant. So I hope it's good. It's one of the only things open at this hour. All right, my food has arrived. It looks really good. So they ran out of French fries. I guess the machine's down, so they switched it with nachos. For those who are wondering, this is 127 Danish Chrome. So it looks really good. It has like cheese, bacon, pretty good burger. And the nachos are good too. Would recommend. So I don't know if you can see this, but the weather has turned pretty foul. Thankfully, I'm almost at my hotel here. Just about 200 meters on the right, but oh my goodness, the weather is just changing on a dime here. I am covered from head to toe in this just massive amount of ice pellets. And I tell you, when they hit you with this, you know, 70 kilometer an hour winds today, it is painful, let's put it that way. Well, I have never been so happy to see a hotel in my life. That was quite the little squall that moved through. I'm gonna go warm up. 